One of the strangest and more experimental electronic albums to appear in 1976 was by French guitarist and keyboardist Patrick Dion. The ex Red Noise member, that is the French psychedelic Red Noise, who that year released his singular album, Bruit et Tons Analogue, which translates to Analogous Sounds and Times, and from that album, the track Tunnel 4 Red Noise, in reference to his former band, of course. <laughs> Colors taking off. Kind of a kind of a tangerine dream sound right there. Oh, I'm hearing water sounds. And I'm hearing space sounds. That main that loop that 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 kind of sounds sort of aquatic to me. Well, that that thing is like winding up, but that 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 kind of more like whistly sound is kind of more like like going up into space. Yeah, that's more like windy, more kind of like high, more of a high altitude sound, whereas the other sound is more aquatic. I don't know what to make of that other... More like a creature of some kind. Maybe this is supposed to convey like water on some, like maybe this is supposed to be like Europa or something. Some plant in some far off galaxy that, that can support like water. Now I'm getting kind of like a frozen kind of sci like, oh, kind of like a sci or like a cyborg type feel, like, uh, like an Arctic cyborg. Well, we've gone uh, a great distance. At first, it was it was kind of evocative of like Edgar Froese, Tangerine Dream, and now this is uh, like nothing any of them were doing at that at this point. Kind of like sounds like minimal wave bands would use, like like a few in a few years time. Yeah, this is really its own thing. Just all these kind of experimental sounds going in all these different directions, like. Unlike a lot of electronic albums that, that came out around this time during the mid-70s, this would not work as like a sleeping aid. It's not something you, you could put at low volume and just kind of zone off to. That kind of that that kind of percussive sound kind of sounds like something that that I heard like on um well that that synergy did a couple of years later on his chords album sounds and
uh, why uh, Red Noise is in the title. Is this supposed to be like a reference deal? Because this is not um, on the album. But then again, I uh, I can't remember anything about that Red Noise album offhand. <laughs> There's no way it could have it could have sounded like this because it was from 1971. All I remember was that it was like an experimental kind of freeform psychedelic record, like avant-garde psych. Um, and I was only kind of moderately impressed by it. I thought it was more like a historical curiosity than anything. But this, uh, I, I think he, he I, I'm just going to say that he, he most likely filled his poten fulfilled his potential more with this release. <laughs> Now we're getting really thick and and voluminous here. I am gonna to have to see if there is any information on the arsenal he's got in front of him on this release. <laughs> it says, let's see, um the well we've got a looks like we've got a second guy on here. Um George A. Granier aliases Michael Maller um did that were they co no that guy was not in red noise with him although that guy that guy um was involved in the 1977 Alpha Ralpha album yeah Alpha Ralpha um a spinoff of Typho oh kind of a super group actually it's, yeah spinoff of Ty kind of a space rock spinoff of Typhon but also had member uh members of Malacorn and and very oh and variations a total like French supergroup there. Um, oh, we've we've actually this is not uh, quite the one man show that I thought it was. We've got okay. Patrick Vion plays two synthesizer or no three. He plays a Moog sequencer and he plays a Moog two C synthesizer and an ARP two six hundred synthesizer. So I, I imagine a lot of these electronic sounds are just various things that you can get out of either what uh, of, of those three uh, models there and uh, well, uh, I think we this has primarily been uh, I'll, I'll just leave it at that for the moment <laughs> What does this convey? I guess it could be just a, it's like a meltdown on, on whatever planet we're on. <laughs> I'm thinking that, uh, let's see, that, that, uh, I think was primarily him. Uh, I think some of the other tracks I was playing. How about uh, Gross Not Music, which is German for Big Night Music. I think we might be hearing a few more people on this. Maybe, maybe. Now I'm getting kind of more of an ambient feel so far, but that could soon change. Kind of like that bass ostinato on a synthesizer and just sounds just being overlaid. Oh, I love that glowy sustain sound. 
and the sound behind it, the kind of slightly kind of harmonic sound that's going on. That that. That kind of mid sound. That. I really like the tonal colors on this piece. It's like beaming, glowing astral colors. So far, I think it's this is pretty much a one-man show. The amazing things that you can do with just a couple of synthesizers, a couple of analog instruments, but then again, Gary Newman would later say that the synthesizer is the most human of all instruments because you can uh, make it sound pretty much any way you want it to. There's so many sounds that you can, and, and you're in control of how it sounds, whereas a guitar pretty much has just kind of a few sounds. That, that's not exactly true. I mean, with pedals, you can... Um, you, I guess what he's really saying is that you can manipulate um, a, a synthesizer to your own satisfaction in a multitude of ways. Um, It's, it's like soft, kind of glowing color light in the dark. I'm hearing it's basically just an A tonality for what it's worth. Not that that really matters though, but uh, A. Octave. tracks on this album that have those other guys on them uh like have uh george uh Ge george a great granier who plays electric piano fender roads marimba noises oh that okay uh there's also a guy another a third guy uh bernard uh L laviol who is credited with guitar and um on some of those numbers there's a resemblance i would say to Heldon. Yeah, because Heldon kind of mixed guitar in like like avant garde and like avant more avant garde elements into electronic music around this time. And we're oftentimes kind of more free form and, and times varying on like noise type music. <laughs> That's probably the closest comparison, Heldon. As a matter of fact, from a purely like electronic music, like a mid seventies electro, I probably chose the two most accessible tracks on the album from from a electronic perspective <laughs> How many 
many sounds do you, how many layers are you hearing right now, like at once? There's that fizzy sound, that really kind of wheezy, fuzzy sound. High. There's that other sound, there's a, oh, that, there's that kind of almost like theremin kind of like sound. There's some of those lower waves of sound that are just kind of sustained, kind of filling out the space, providing the bedrock. There's that kind of dun 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 dun. There's this one sound in there that, that almost sounds like the electronic approximation of a zither. speed up, get, get more staccato. And then go back to just being sort of sustained. I love how that sound, that kind of like, well, that really moog, moogish sound in the middle, how it's interacting with that fizzy sound. Actually that, ooh, that, that, that sound in the middle, that, that, that's probably the first kind of sound that people think of when they think of, of the Moog anyway. Yeah, that was uh, Patrick uh, Vian with um, Gross Knot Music or Big Night Music, and before that, Tunnel 4, Red Noise, from his 1976 singular solo album. Bruit est un zénalogue. Yeah. Um, Analogous sounds and times. Uh, yes, and I guess he didn't... Let's see, what did he do after this? Um, released um, on Barclay's subsidiary Egg in 1976, and... Uh, I guess he didn't really do anything after this. This and the Red Noise album from five years earlier are the only things credited on Discovery. Oh, he has a technical credit in on this 1990 release by Le Empire des Sons. Yeah, that was a that was a Rio that was a like a Tron ish type album. With some people from the uh, 80s um Aya discs scene like music in the post etron vein but that's those are uh subjects for a whole different installment um in a whole different series of videos anyway yes uh one of the more experimental uh electronic releases of 1976 by patrick vion for more reds and purples from the patrick vion album See the directory of albums by French artists linked in the description below. Um, the French directory of albums from the 70s and 80s, currently over 1,000 titles strong. Like and subscribe and follow me on social media and leave a comment if there are any observations you have about the two tracks we just heard. The layers, the sounds, the tonal colors, the instrument, the setup of analog synthesizers and the settings that were used to get those sounds yeah if you know he, how he may have um, accomplished some of that yeah leave a comment on that too and until next time this is aragon the world's most air traveled trimax signing off <laughs>